Chad Reynolds here, SEMA 2013, and we're in the Driven booth with none other than Mr. Lake Speed. How you doing, man? Good, how are you doing? Fantastic. Well, we're here today to talk about ethanol kills carbs. Hashtag ethanol kills carbs, by the way. With the new Driven Carb Defender. Why the hell does anybody need this? <laughs> really simple, because we have this beautiful EPA. You know, our government is putting ethanol in the fuel. And unfortunately, ethanol, while it's pretty nice in your glass, not too good in your gas, <laughs> because it's corrosive, right? And you can see right here, oh. here's an example of a carburetor in 90 days, only 90 days, the corrosive effects of what ethanol can do to a carburetor. Judging by the JB Weld fix that was attempted on this, I'm assuming you took this from my partner in crime, Brian Loans, but um, <laughs> this is unbelievable, the amount of corrosion that you see on this. And, and is this worse than a car that sits like everybody's hot rods that don't get driven every day? Or well, is that it... is the problem. This is what it's from. Because when you have hot rods that sit around, you have time <laughs> and you have the ability for the fuel to draw in moisture, right? Reasons why like guys like having their scotch on the rocks yeah. is because the alcohol, right, the ethanol, yeah. absorbs moisture, gotcha. and that cor corrosive cocktail of moisture and ethanol is what causes this. So if a guy drove his hot rod every day, he wouldn't have to worry about this as much. But as given much, but it's still going to be there because even you know ethanol is so corrosive and hydroscopic that the pipeline companies don't even let them put ethanol in the pipeline. So your 87 octane gasoline you get at the gas station, you know, yeah. is actually 83 octane pump fuel with no ethanol in it going through the pipeline. Until it gets to where they mix it. Right. In, in the truck. In the truck. Then they add the ethanol in the truck. And that wow. takes it from 83 octane up to 87 octane because the fuel is so corrosive and so hydroscopic, it would suck in moisture and corrode the pipeline, and we don't really want that happening. But nobody's telling us that. I mean, you're, we're not being told that we have to be careful with that kind of thing with our vehicles. So you guys have stepped up, though, and have the carb defender so that you can avoid that. I mean, here's billet, you know, metering blocks for a, you know, traditional four-barrel carburetor, and they're corroded. I mean, aluminum, it doesn't 90 care. 90 days. Wow. Now, days. and we're talking brass floats, we're talking screws, we're talking needle and seats, we're talking springs for accelerator pumps. All of these things that come in contact with fuel are corroding, sitting in your carburetor in less than 90 days. Yeah, that's why it's called Carb Defender. Because well, the, the key in this whole thing is you don't have this in a fuel injection system. Right. That's the thing, materially, a fuel injection system in a modern 2007 or newer car doesn't have these issues because it's materially different. When you have old carburetors that have these components you just described, all of those are at risk to corrosion to ethanol. So here's the regular carb defender. Yep. And this is going to be for your average muscle car, high performance, street strip guy, whatever. Yep. But you also have the race version clearly the one I should have. What's different about this one? Higher level of concentration, where this works great for say E85 all the way down to you know E10 pump gas, right? Okay. The regular stuff you get. Right. This will actually run with straight methanol as well as E85 or any oxygenated race fuel. And then handy dandy, one bottle treats a whole 55 gallon drum. Really? Yep. Now, if I'm the race guy though, and I have race fuel, or even the guy that's running on pump gas with a high compression, you know, performance engine, I don't want to change the gasoline. I don't want to pour something in there that's going to change my octane rating or screw that up. So how does this actually work? Is it changing my fuel? No, that's what makes Carb Defender unique and different than every other fuel additive on the market. Everything else is trying to alter the fuel, somehow or another, you know, you know, stabilizing the fuel or you know, separating the moisture from the fuel. Well, all of that does is change things like vapor pressure, octane, this. This or this doesn't matter. All it's doing is using the fuel as a carrier, right? The fuel carries the additive to that surface that creates a microscopic film that protects the surface from the fuel. 
That way your carburetor tuning, your jet sizes, timing, all of that never changes. So this is not going to increase or decrease power levels. Exactly, none. We've done dyno testing with multiple car builders, multiple engine builders. There is zero difference in jetting, timing, power with the car carb defender. But what it does is it prevents all of this from happening. And it's race proven for over two years in the field testing to get this right, to make sure it works. Well, and I hate doing yard work and I don't like any of that stuff. Brian clearly is the you know lawn tractor guy, but everybody has small engine stuff around their house. It's a weed whacker, it's the lawn tractor, it's the go-kart, or in our case, I have the 64 mile an hour mini bike, totally cool, um, I need this for. This is for the small engine guy. Is it the same formulation? Is it different? Does it work in a two stroke, et cetera, et cetera? It does work in a two stroke. It is chemically the same as these, but at a different concentration level. So you're only treating, you know, one gallon to five gallons worth of fuel. And it is, you know, stable in uh, two stroke applications. That way you're not having to pull five, six, eight right. times to crank your lawnmower. Now, where can people get this? Pretty much online, our website, drivenracingworld.com. Uh, We've got it, you can buy it today. And then you know, most of your major retailers and stuff, you know, uh, performance speed shop kind of guys will have it as well. Okay, very good. And uh, remember, hashtag ethanol kills carbs, ladies and gentlemen. Ethanol kills carbs. Awesome, thanks dude.